In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the free AI tool ChatGPT to make your website's traffic go vertical. As soon as I figured this out, I knew I had to make a video about it right away because anyone that tries this is gonna grow their traffic faster and protect themselves from algorithm updates. And no, this isn't about writing content using AI. It's about using AI to tell you how to upgrade your content for exactly what Google wants while also using it to tell you where you're violating Google guidelines so you're bulletproof from update penalties. I've already tried this on a bunch of my content and I'm getting huge rank boners like this consistently consistently. The insane thing about it is that it's free. It costs exactly zero dollars to do and requires absolutely no SEO expertise. A baby could do it. But real quick, before I explain the process, I'd like to give you an invite to my free SEO training masterclass. It goes over everything that I'm doing today in 2023 to get websites to the top of Google. Sign up by using the link in the pinned comment. Now back to the video. The first thing you need to do is create a free account at chat.openai.com. In case you've been living under the biggest rock ever to exist, ChatGPT is an AI chatbot that is completely disrupted search engine optimization since its release on November 30th. It reached a million visitors in less than a week, faster than any other software ever, and that's no surprise considering what you can do with it. We're gonna train ChatGBT to think like Google. And once the AI fully understands exactly what Google's looking for, we're gonna unleash it on your website to tell you exactly everything you need to do to make it Google perfect. To illustrate how this works, I'll be using an example. And since I know that most of you viewers are affiliate marketers, I'm gonna demo how to do this for a website with affiliate review content. But really, you can do this with any kind of content. What you see here is Google's product review guidelines documentation, which tells you what they want to see when you write product review content. This second list of bullet points breaks down their specific criteria. They want you to evaluate the product from a user's perspective, demonstrate that you're knowledgeable about the products reviewed, provide evidence that you have experience with the product, share quantitative measurements, explain differences with competitors, compare against... Guys, let's stop here. There's a lot of stuff to understand. Some of it is more important than others, and a lot of it is ambiguous. Discuss the benefits and drawbacks of a particular product based on your own original research. So if I research the product by scouring the internet in more detail than anyone has ever done before, and then compile it together with my own personal opinion, is that not original? Or does it have to be my literal original research from testing the product in my freaking Tony Stark lab? You know what? Okay, let's use AI to figure this out. Open up ChatGPT and tell it, summarize the following into the five most important criteria, then paste in the entire product reviews guidelines. You could also do the same thing for the helpful content guidelines, Google spam policy, whatever you want. According to the AI, the product reviews guidelines emphasize the following five criteria. Evaluate the product from a user's perspective, demonstrate expertise with the product, provide evidence of experience with the product, comparison to competitors, and discussion of its benefits and drawbacks based on original research. But how does your content stack up to these requirements. Again, let's get AI to solve this for you. ChatGPT, evaluate the following content based on this criteria from a scale of one to 10, and then you insert your content. To demonstrate, I'll use this article that ranks on page one of Google for the keyword surfer SEO review. In a few seconds, ChatGPT has told me that this article did pretty good. Eights and nines across the board, except for providing evidence of personal experience with the product surfer. So I went back over the article and saw that there can't be more clear evidence than a freaking video of the guy actually using surfer. But that doesn't matter. Google's product reviews algorithm has no idea that this video exists. It's looking at the content. In the content, there are a few sentences like this where the author says things like, I use Surfer SEO to optimize all my blog posts and see visible results through it. And we religiously use Surfer at my company. That's a great start, but maybe the content needs more. So let's ask ChatGPT what we can do to improve it. Yo ChatGPT, how specifically can the article be improved for criteria number three? And the AI says the content needs more specific examples of results, such as the author can get into before and after case studies using the tool. Now for comparison, let's run the AI on an article that's not doing well on Google for the same keyword. This article is on page seven for the keyword surfer SEO review. Once again, ChatGPT evaluate the following content based on the criteria from a scale of one to 10. As expected, we have lower scores, eights and sevens. And the article also struggled with the personal experience criteria with its score of six. But just for funsies, let's see how the AI suggests to improve on criteria number four, comparison versus competitors. ChatGPT, write me a hundred words of content that will specifically improve the score for criteria number four by comparing surfer against the competitor tools Quora and Page Optimizer Pro. And bam, here you go. Now here's where this whole process kicks into beast mode. Run a complete audit on your entire website today. A product review update could happen anytime now. A spam update could happen tomorrow or a helpful content update. You can run this audit yourself or get someone from your team to help. Make a sheet like this with every URL on your website followed by columns for criterion one through five. Then start filling it out with the scores that ChatGPT gives you. Flag anything with a score of seven or below and get to work ASAP before the next update. How else can you use ChatGPT to audit your content? How about EEAT? 
Hey, ChatGPT, understand what EEAT are based on the following documentation. Then paste in the EEAT definition section from the Google Quality Rater Guidelines. Then you can ask it to grade your about page on each of these factors. Now there's a couple issues that you'll run into if you try the current ChatGPT version. Here's what they are and here's our workarounds. Pitfall number one, ChatGPT has a character limit. So if you paste in a long article, it'll complain that the message you submitted was too long. Please reload the conversation and submit something shorter. In this case, run the criteria check on half the article, then get your scores. Then you run on the second half of the article. You're gonna take whatever number is higher in each category. Why does it work like this? Because if there's a criteria like showing evidence that you use the product, it's not like every paragraph in the entire article needs to show this. You just need to show it once. Pitfall number two, ChatGPT has a limit on how much you can use it per day. Right now it's about 40 queries. Solution, make multiple accounts or buy the premium version. As said before, this ChatGPT audit can be used with any type of Google criteria that has a release notes. Just load the notes into the tool, use the AI to break it down into hard criteria, evaluate your content on that criteria, and subscribe for more videos just like this one.